So, this is the second video that I've done of looking at the convergence and divergence via the comparison test. And just as a reminder, here's our comparison test. Basically it says, if we have a function that we know converges and we can show another function, if we have a, an improper integral that we know converges, and we can show that the integrand is less than the integrand of the one we know converges, then it converges vice versa. If we have an in, improper integral that we know diverges and the integrand of another improper integral is greater, then we know it diverges. I have a little video where I talk about those. But I want to go through this example and I want to show you how we can make an adjustment when things don't go the way we would hope. So in looking at this one, first thing I'd want you to notice is underneath this radical we have a polynomial. Polynomials are dominated by their lead term, so we can forget about the x for a little bit. So our goal would be to compare this maybe to 1 over square root of 3x squared. So we're going to compare to the improper integral, at least initially, and this may change, 1 over square root of 3x squared from 1 to infinity. Well that dx is actually 1 to infinity of 1 over rad 3 times 1 over x dx. So it's a constant times an integral we know diverges. So initially our instincts is that this thing is going to diverge. And so that's what we're going to try testing for. So what we want to show, and what I use is WTS for want to show. Well, sometimes it's nice to put the end of our proof and work backwards. We would like to show 1 over square root of x plus 3x squared. Now we're using a divergent improper integral. We can only test for divergence and we need to show that it's greater than 1 over square root of 3x squared. Well, let's see what happens when we work this one backwards. So first thing we might want to do is flip both of these. So we're actually comparing square root of x plus 3x squared. When we flip our ratios, we flip our inequality. So square root of 3x squared. Now we'll square both sides because that won't change the inequality. We're going from 1 to infinity. Everything's positive. Hmm. This is where things get a little troublesome. What we have is not a true statement. Right? Here. That's a problem. What we need to do is start with something that's a true statement and work it so that this works out for us. This is a neat little trick that'll work. So, first statement I'm going to start with. I know that 3x squared is less than or equal to 3x squared from 1 to infinity. Okay, that interval is actually important because we know that everything we're putting in for x is 1 or bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add x to this side plus 3x squared less than or equal to, and I'm going to add an x squared to this side. This is going to be what makes this work. This is a true statement. x squared is bigger than or equal to x on 1 to infinity. And then adding the same thing it's still going to be bigger. Now I'm going to take the square root over here. It's going to be of x plus 3x squared. Over here, I can add those together. It's 4x squared, so I'm taking the square root of 4x squared. This is actually going to work out real nice, which is actually just, four, which is actually just 2x. So now I need to flip this so I can get back to my integrand. So I'm going to have 1 over 
square root of x plus 3x squared and when I flip both sides of my ratio I get to flip my integral notice what this is this is one half times something we know diverges therefore this thing must diverge by the comparison test and we got it so this did not work for us that's okay don't give up we're able to make it work for us by nice little trick here adding x to one side adding x squared to the other side 